whiskers. Mother's lady with fat rolls. This right here is a fish buck. This is what we all fight for. Freeloaders. It's not like you guys are ever going to win the grand prize. So this mm. is the only thing you guys need. Oh, yes. One fish buck is 500 bucks. But we don't get these for free. We work for them. Okay? We sweat. We toil. We get our bones aching. Our muscles hurting. Uh, the most strenuous activity we can do to compete for a fish buck is debate. Okay, guys? Uh, we have some new friends here, Lance, the more handsome Lance. We have Simon. Simon, I know you have something to say about every controversial topic. Chris, I'm, you seem like an opinionated guy. You were definitely trying to get Letty at the back of the line, and you would not drop it, okay? Mm. No, let me fix that real quick. It wasn't that I was going to let, not let it drop. She had every right to say that she was there. Okay. And she has a right to feel that way. Yeah. I just want a legit reason that isn't just superficial, the way I look, physical features about me that I can't change. Yeah, but that's what, At least like, that was what the challenge was. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not a debate topic. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we'll do that next time. Whether I'm hot or not is the debate topic. Here's the thing, guys. Uh, debates don't happen in the living room. They happen in bedroom four. Okay. So if you want to participate in this debate and get your try, and then it's Chris Fishbuck. What is it about? Guys, hold nothing back. Stand up for what you believe in. Okay. And don't take no for an answer. If someone disagrees with you, just talk over them. Um, Mike wins, guys. The topic, the topic we're going to be getting into today is abortion. Oh, man. Abortion. Abortion, uh, some people think it is a right, you know? It's a, it's a woman's choice to choose. And maybe these pesky men should uh, step up to the plate and just let a woman make her own choice. And some people think that's baby murder. Okay? Um, what do you think? Do you think it's baby murder? Okay. Yeah, abortion. I think it's something that's more of a situation to situation basis. I'm not a supporter of, like, okay, I like to sleep around, I'm happy to care, I'm happy the dad is. Just for, because that kind of attitude kind of enforces the go ahead and just do this and not take control of your life. Yeah. But at the same time, there are situations where it's hard to really say no. Like, when a young woman sits there, gets taken advantage of, and like, it's not healthy for her to have it, it wasn't her choice. That kind of thing is like, yeah, 100%. I have no problem with that. If the baby's going to be a health effect, I have no problem with it. So you like sensible abortion? Uh, sensible, just sensible. sensible. Yeah, I, I, just like guns. I don't think we should just be hating my willy nilly. But I think to those who need them, those who you know need them, should get it. Okay. And if you need an abortion, maybe. But if you're just sleeping around and you know you're just not giving a fuck, is that yeah, where you draw the line? Because there's, I know it's not common, but I have legitimately met with her to say, oh yeah, if I get pregnant, I'll just like have an abortion. It's just like. Yeah, but that's a toll on your body you're taking. That's not just, you know, a lot of people argue wants to feed us the baby. It's not just that. That's a toll you're taking on your body with each of those. What are your thoughts? Um, you know, I can see why you would take that position morally, but um, in like a, like a broad sense, that wouldn't work because you couldn't determine who needs an abortion and who doesn't. Like, what would be the criteria for that? Like, you really couldn't do that. So it's either you give people abortions or not. Yeah, well, why, should, I mean, why should men decide? Because the criteria for which who needs an abortion is probably a man making that decision. Um, I, I just think that um, there shouldn't be a criteria and okay. um, because like how like how would you see if someone's doing it because of a health reason or because they sleep around? Like you couldn't verify that in any way. Josie, you seem eager to pipe in here. What do you, what do you think about abortion? Um, Where's the line? I agree with Chris, actually. I think using it uh, freely, um, I think, yeah, there's no way to uh, verify if they're doing it for that, but I think hopefully, morally, some people would uh, choose to use it if it's really needed. Vance, what week 
into a pregnancy is the line. Where is it too far? At what point does a cluster of cells become a life? They're not created. Um, I think that you can't leave it for too long. You need to kind of fix your either a mistake or something that traumatic you went through. It's uh, probably better to get rid of that that emotion and um, that responsibility if you can't handle it um, as soon as possible. So I would probably say, um, Vance, do you want to finish up on his answer? Yeah, uh, like when a heartbeat can be detected, probably. You know, is that what you, that's what we're getting at? Yeah, yeah. Can I uh, put something on real quick? Mm -hmm. In that scenario, let's say the young lady has, she's debated on doing it for a while, it wasn't her decision, but at the same time, it doesn't clear up which one. I think even with a heartbeat, she should have an option because mm -hmm. no one should be forced to have, it's, it's harsh to say, it's bad to say in a way, but no one likes to have a reminder of trauma in their life. Mm -hmm. And I've seen too many old friends of mine who were, you know, products of a ape baby, and, you know, they didn't have as good a relationship with their parents as I had growing up. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I it's see. something that, you know, like I said, it, it's something where I don't put the limit on it, just more so, okay, if you're getting it, make sure you have a reason for it. Don't yeah. Yeah, for no reason. Definitely. Yeah, um, I agree. Like, I think that um, the heartbeat thing, it's like, like also, what if she has like a health, um, a health emergency, and it's later on into the pregnancy, past the heartbeat, exactly. and the baby could like, like kill her, like if she keeps it, you know, or like it, it would die anyway, but it would kill her, and the abortion is the safest way to, um, like terminate the pregnancy. Definitely. So I honestly think about. that's just what makes abortion such a tough topic because there are situations, there are moments, and mm -hmm. like we said earlier, it's not going to be easy to just know who's using it. We're willing to. Just like the guns, there's no real way to go through every American house and find one of the gun houses. We just gotta do our best to manage it. I think even the women who do sleep around and they have an abortion, um, like they should be able to do it because you don't want a woman who doesn't want a child having a child. She's gonna be a terrible mother if she doesn't want that child. And that child would quickly turn into mommy's ashtray. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I, th I think it should be like off. Just, yeah, like, just scenario and stuff. Like, I've met several women that just have had abortions because they don't want the kid. And that's, like, pretty sad because life is beautiful. You know, they can give the kid up for adoption and give it a beautiful life. Um, but if, like, you don't have any money, it was, you know, you were assaulted or raped, you know, you don't want the kid, it's a reminder of that event, then, and it's not that long to the pregnancy, I don't see a problem with getting an abortion, you know? Um, yeah, this is just a tough topic. <laughs> um, I think the thing also about giving a kid up for adoption is you have to consider that it is also nine months of a woman's life where she has to, um, like, deal with all the effects of pregnancy. So it's not just, like, so easy to just, oh, just have the kid and then give it up for adoption. Like, pregnancy also takes, like, a very, like, hard toll on your body. Simon? Uh, I want to give you more of a space in the room. Could you come join next to Chris here, if you'd like? I, just, I, 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 I feel like uh, maybe you're not getting a fair chance just based on your position in the room. Oh, okay. I want you more central so you could be heard by mm -hmm. everyone all around you. Um, Simon, what's your thoughts on abortion? Is there any any of these takes that you kind of agree with? Or is there um, anybody you find quite idiotic? I think abortion should be illegal because I want women to suffer. <laughs> This isn't like a joke, like, this is, you know, a debate. Like, let's, well, let's let him cook, let's let him cook. He can argue that position, like, you can elaborate on that. I think only poor people have abortion, because rich people, they could afford nannies. <clears throat> so you could afford nannies, and you wouldn't have an abortion. But abortion costs money. Yeah, it's, that's actually yeah, that's not true. Meant. Rich yeah, people have true. abortions all the time, they just hide it, and don't talk about it. Yeah. Mm. Frankly, I think it's getting easier in America to find a sugar daddy that could maybe handle that. Maybe what? Handle like, that cost. Yeah, I've, I've, known women, I've known women that just 
just like, hey, you know, this guy got me pregnant, I'm asking for money for an abortion. Yeah, you but can like, get a plumbing, you can, or, get, or you can make a Kickstarter, you could... I've known women that lie about that, and so they get money from the guy. Yeah, but also, like, what you're saying, they can't go find me for an abortion, that's not like... Like, the woman wants to keep her dignity, maybe she wants to keep it private, and getting a sugar daddy, like, well, she... I've seen not everyone wants to pour herself out for money, you know? Well, that's good. No, 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 it's never been about sex for them. It's all about companionship. Yeah, there's just need let's someone not, to be around. Let's not have a sugar baby. The sex is still a part of it, though. Not, not, no, not always. always. For me, not always. For me and my sugar babies, most of the time, it's not about sex. And I don't get too much of a thrill out of uh, giving them money. I just want to support their dreams. And if, if you know. But that's yeah. just my part. I, I'm not up for grabs for the, the fish buck here. Um, I want to hit on a point you made that was pretty good. Uh, a woman may not want to start a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe to fund her abortion because she wants to keep her dignity. What is the role of dignity? Is that a societal pressure put on women? Maybe that it's undignified to get an abortion. And if it is, how how uh, is it just to have that that uh, societal assumption that, that it's that it's a bad thing? You know, where where does dignity? Where does pe- other people's perception of Abortion being this negative evil thing, well, how does that play into the morality of the whole issue? So um, yeah, I think dignity in a situation like this should never dictate it. It should always be what's going to be the outcome. Is the outcome going to be healthy? Is it unhealthy? Is it going to cost fives? Dignity should never take a part in a huge health system like that. Well, people, girls like who have had abortions, like don't want to talk about it because there's such like a stigma surrounding it. So I think it's brave when a woman does have an abortion and speaks out about it because she's gonna get a lot of hate. Extremely. I know. We're gonna just make jokes about it. They don't give a fuck. Like they're, they're just yeah, I do side of this. So that's why it's such a controversial topic. Same with like the ginger rolls and shit. Uh, I'm gonna ask three people this question. I'm going to start with you, Simon. Simon, does a fetus have a soul? Hmm, does a fetus have a soul? Um, according to, like, the book of the dead by the Tibetan monk, there's, like, a number of days to where, like, the baby has to happen until his soul come in. Mm-hmm. I think it's, like, on the steady third day or something. Don't quote me on that. That's when the soul happened to a baby. So how many, that book. how many, how far along in pregnancy would 73 days be? Can we do quick now? That'd be two and a half months. Okay. 30 days, 30 days, two months, 13 days, two weeks. Do you agree with that? Maybe two and a half months is the cutoff point where it's too far? Um, I think as long as it's still inside the stomach, it could be avoided. Okay. Yeah. Uh, The next person I want to ask that question to, Josie, do you think that a fetus or a baby, whichever you want to put it Do you think that a fetus has a soul?
Josie, what do you think should happen to someone if they do a botched illegal abortion? Um, I think, wait, what should happen to someone if they're the one, like, performing the surgery? If they had any act in a, any, any act in a botched um, illegal abortion that's dangerous, mm -hmm. maybe with rusty tools, mm -hmm. or tools that have dirt on them. Yeah, I think the person performing it should be put in jail. I think uh, maybe the person receiving it uh, should have had better access. Um, I'm not saying it's their fault, I mean, maybe we need better women who are like um, learning how to do the abortions because they wanted to like take it into their own hands. How do you guys feel about how most aborted babies happen to be babies of color and how some people call this the new black genocide? Yeah, I think there's definitely something to that. I, I kind of, I mean, I don't know if this is true, but I heard that Planned Parenthood was kind of started to um, like eliminate black children. Yeah, there, uh, there's more Planned Parenthood in like yeah, black not, areas and stuff. I'm not saying that's what it is necessarily now. Um, and I might be wrong. It's just like, I don't know. It's, yeah, I hope that's not true. I don't I think, think that's true. <laughs> it, it is. I mean, like Kanye West talked about it a bit. It, it's a like honestly I think there's a very like rational explanation for it and the explanation for why there's more Planned Parenthood in black neighborhoods is because uh, a lot of black people in America are poor and poor people do tend to get more abortions Like there's like a lot of poor neighborhoods like with black people living in them, so that's why. Like, yeah, like, there's hella plant parents all over Oklahoma, mostly in black owned places. Like I've had to travel to go to Planned Parenthood to get like certain services done, which you know, like certain medications and stuff like birth control. I think it's very hypocritical um, saying that um, Planned Parenthood is mostly in like black neighborhood because I feel like black women should be able to have abortion yeah. same with any other woman so that's kind of hypocritical but yeah, just, I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure if a white woman want an abortion she'll go to a friend parenthood no matter what neighborhood it's in yeah I mean, that's, I that's pretty nice. reasonable but the very helpful people very helpful people starting with bad intentions but in reality at least it's, it's putting the option out there in a the community that usually put that option mm -hmm. to them. Yeah. Like, and showing them that there's safe options, like, like, because a lot of poor people also, like, get um, pregnant young or, like, don't practice safe sex and, like, they uh, give out, like, condoms and, like, STD testing and stuff like that. Now, guys, let's move into states' rights. Okay? The state currently uh, in the Republic of the United States of America, each state can set their own rules. Some states have decided that all weed is illegal. And some states have decided that certain strains of yeah. and analogs of the CBD molecule, the THC molecule, um, mm -hmm. Delta 8, Delta 9, those are legal. And some states crack down. As soon as we crack down, they just make Delta 10. Okay? States' rights. Right. In America, you can go vote in your state where you're a resident. And you can decide maybe abortion is bad. We can have this debate at the city hall. Okay? Do you think that banning abortion state to state is just? Do you think that restricting yeah, so access to women's access to uh, abortions via Planned Parenthood uh, via voting is that part of the vision of America that you may or may not agree with? And let your Canadians, you can send this one out. What? I don't think. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
Okay. 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 Okay, so this is a two-part question. Anyone, anyone pipe in on this one uh, for real? Um, how do you guys feel so, okay. about um, yeah, it yeah. not being a nationwide ban, it being state to state? And when and do you what do you think about the criticism of women that uh, say they don't have access when they you technically do have access if you drive like two hours in some cases? Do you think that that's mm -hmm. a fair criticism and kind of like a a um, do you think that that's uh, a good expression or a, a necessary expression of states' rights, uh, letting the people decide rules in their uh, localities? Or do you think that this should be a national issue and we should make a decision as a country? I think when it comes to abortion, it should be a national issue. I don't think state to state should be able to ban. Yes, it's not the most prettiest of things to have around. Like I said, it's a helpful evil. It should be offered to everybody. When it comes to driving two plus hours, it's it ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I'm in the middle of my car right now, and I've got people driving me around. Mm -hmm. If I was going to one, I'm fucked. I'm giving birth right in my trailer. Well, that's why Greyhound exists. Yeah, sponsored by Greyhound. Yeah, but not everyone's going to have the money for a Greyhound. Exactly. Well, All those Greyhounds are pretty cheap. <laughs> I, I actually agree. I think it should be a, like a nationwide thing, like a federal like issue. Um, also, because... Some people, they need one really quick because they start having like a miscarriage and they're losing like a lot of blood and they need an abortion to terminate it quickly. They don't have time to drive two hours to another state to do that. Okay. State by state makes it more difficult. Oklahoma's having a really big problem with that right now. People are going to the Capitol and protesting. It's just really ugly and it's honestly like tearing the state apart. Um, there's all just these infographs being shared around, just people arguing with each other in comments. And it's just fucking ugly. Let's see. And it's just gonna make more botched abortions available if you cut all access off like that. Yeah, exactly. I agree with that because people will still get abortions. They'll just do it illegally and then uh, and unsafely most of the time. So, like, it just yeah. Do you do you think a woman would rather find out how to get a botched abortion or find out how to get a greyhound bus? Serious question. What do you think is an easier task to figure out? Um, I think it's easier, obviously, to go to another state to get like a legal abortion than to get one like unsafely. Just, just, a thought, just a thought. Just a thought. Just a thought. I feel like it's a lot easier for women to receive bad information on abortions. Yeah. Because for so long it's been dope on a Oh, you're going to have a kid? Well, drop her downstairs, stick her in the gun, yeah. call her in. Her in. That's where you get a lot of these women not being hurt or killed. I think it's a lot easier for people to go, you know what, I'll take the easier route that's right in front of me yeah, than it is to go, okay, put a little extra work, get the round and be safe. That's true, that's as, very true. As someone in the campus media, I see it way too much. People are like, nope, I'm just getting the cheapest, like it's there, ball. Not realizing in reality, you're probably buying stuff that doesn't have the best to care for it, so it isn't a medicinal yeah. product. I think the state sh um, or the country should provide women like money like that if they got to If it is like state by state, they should provide them like with the bus tickets go to another state so that way they don't have to like, get a botched abortion. Mm -hmm. And then you know their body it takes a toll on their body. Like yeah. like I said, I've known women that done that. They're not the same mentally or physically. Can and I hear? Oh my bad. It stays with them for a long, long time. Maybe their whole life. Um, I want to hear from the sideline here, that those of you who have been benched mm -hmm. by your own choice. Um, what do you think the emotional burden is on a woman that has an abortion? Mm -hmm. Is there an emotional burden? Is that just something that's been perpetuated to uh, encourage women not to make that tough choice and just and to just have the baby? Or do you think that... Um, do you think that there is an emotional bond or some sort of emotional damage that can be incurred via making that tough choice? Yeah, I think there is a, an emotional thing because, like, what if she maybe wanted to keep it, but she, like, physically can't? And I feel like she'd be a little sad about that. Mm -hmm. Fast? <coughs> yeah, like, uh, yeah, there's definitely an emotional burden. Um, like, just me, like, when I'm thinking, like, if I... Like, 
got if I if my girlfriend got pregnant and we didn't really plan on it um, and we like actually couldn't keep it um, I think it would suck actually just knowing like damn that was my kid and like now it's gone uh, like I don't know I have no idea what choice I would make yeah in that, in that situation oh mm -hmm. And it does take a toll on the body. Like, I know someone that got an abortion, they had to take morphine for like a week after. And then they get, you know, say they get hooked on the drug, and now they're an opioid addict. You know, shit like that. Like, just, there's so many aspects of this. That's why it's such a controversial topic, and it's taken so long for people to just have one, you know, say, like, yeah, it's okay, or no, it's not. All right, final roll call. You're each the governor of your own respective state. Mm -hmm. What state would you be governor of, Simon? Governor of the state to what? Ban of Washington? I'm like, no, if you were the governor of any state, what state would it be? Governor of any state in the United States? Or around yeah. the world? Yeah, well, let's say around the world. Around the world? Tokyo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, Josie, what state would you be the governor of? I'm going to be Arizona, because that's where I'm from. Vance? Hmm. Probably, uh... Hmm. What's your favorite American state? American state? Yeah. Hmm. Probably... Probably Louisiana. Why? Louisiana? Louisiana. <laughs> um, south. Yeah. But where, where in the south exactly is Louisiana? Hmm. I thought that was the state. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you just seem like you don't know much about it. Yeah. Okay. You're all the governor of a state mm -hmm. in the United States, and the paper comes across your desk, and you have a big yes stamp. Mm -hmm. Yes, hell yeah. And then one that says, fuck no. Mm -hmm. And in bold impact font, 72 point college rule paper, mm -hmm. it says abortion. Do you make abortion legal or illegal in your state? In California, I say yes, because there's so much fuck shit going on in there. That is the PUBG mm -hmm. state. That entire state is fucked. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes. I say yes. My state is Maine. Okay. I said no, because I want more anime and manga. Okay. I'd say yes. We need more Florida men and women. Or wait, that would be less. Yeah. What was the thing we were again? Uh, do you make abortion legal in your state if you're the leader of the state? So, yes. Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Hmm. All right, next question. Who deserves this? Because I'm not really sure. Mm, I feel like a lot of us piggyback off of his first statement. Yeah, I feel like Chris, or maybe your buddy. I mean, I feel like I made some really good points and Chris made some really good points too, so. Yeah, but she can't win every debate, buddy. Well, I'm just good at debating. You were better last time. And also, time. yeah, we're close. Why was I better last time? You cared more and you weren't laying down. <laughs> I didn't know that. I am the only one standing up. I just realized that. This debate has a more chill vibe to it. It's chill, Diego. Did you just say the debate around abortion was a chill vibe? I had to take my mask off just to make sure I'm looking at an actual prison right now. Yeah, I'm always speaking up. What the hell? What's up with this abortion shit? Because no one, no one's here saying like, um, no, no woman should have an abortion, which. Yeah, can, I, can I make a suggestion to you? You can make a suggestion, yeah. My suggestion for if you do debates is that you should give each of us a side to argue to make it more interesting. Like, like give someone a side to say, like, no, abortion is not okay in any, like, capacity, and, like, make their argument like that. Does it feel good? You know what, you're, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I'll do that next time. That would make it more interesting. The last time, why it went down so well, yeah. is because you were born into your team. You know, yeah. what I mean, it was men versus women, but that's valid. We could do that next time. But is the shark going to listen to the men that want how to hunt? <laughs> yes. Um, honestly, I gotta give it to Chris. You, uh, you gave a shit. You made it happen, 
and I think their your your time in the cannabis community <laughs> has taught you seriously has taught you about uh, laws, sensible action, and uh, and being being a reasonable citizen in this country. And I appreciate it. We for real need more people like you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Just being myself, you know. Just keep doing that, and you'll probably win every fish buck every time. All right, guys. That's all. That's you all. Congrats on your first fish buck. Yeah. yeah. Congrats. Five hundred bucks in the bank. Yeah, on your first day too. Oh, that was really good. Lights in the coffee side. That was good to see. I am. Look, I'm not like an unconfident person. Like I am actually. It just seemed like earlier you were really timid, like. Well, yeah, because I'm like, the thing is, is that I didn't want to like, like I don't like rating hotness and like stuff like that. Like I didn't want to same, participate like, in that. That's why. Like, same. I can see where you're coming from with it, but like, it's just all fun. This ain't no serious. This ain't like guys going out. You're all in the show. I don't want to like say to the like the other girls like like I don't want I don't like rating women. That's like my like part of my principles is like I don't want to like rate people based on their hotness, and it makes me uncomfortable to put myself in that too. You would make a really good hotness. What? Hotness. It's my own religion. We tend to preach more good human decency than we do praising a god. Mm, I see. Well, I do believe in God, but I'm not religious, so. But either way, whether you believe in it or not, just being a good person is the way to be. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, oh, I have an idea for the next debate. We should do, like, the the start of the Earth, or, like, if God exists, and then, like, someone could argue, like, yeah, intelligent design. Yeah, really interesting one. Yeah, someone could argue intelligent design, someone could argue, like, Big Bang, and, like, God is not real, like... So what do you want us to think? You don't mind me asking. What, about abortion? No, about just existence here on Earth. How we came. Oh no, I believe in God, but um, I don't believe in like the Christian God or anything. I just believe there's like a higher power. It's like something put us here. Um, kind of. I don't know. I think it's more like something that like set things in motion, or just like a higher power beyond kind everything. Of, but so it's kind of like making a terrarium where you just kind of put you yeah, yeah. and just let it grow. And I think, like, there's, like, part of, like, God in, like, every living thing, like, and that's what, like, souls are, is, like, a part of, like, God, like, a higher power. Exactly. I like that thing. <laughs> Seriously. How do you Yeah. What, what do, do you, you think? What do I think? Honestly, I don't think we really have enough knowledge either way to be able to say. Well, of course we don't, but that's where, like, um, like faith comes in and all that. It's really just, like, what you believe. It's not, like, about proof or anything like that. And see, that's where we differ. I'm not a man of faith myself, mm -hmm. just because in my past I put a lot of faith in things that just yeah. fell apart, didn't go right, and it was just, well, you had to do was put in some faith, put in the faith, and I got it up. But I also don't go around being... Well, this first...